imposter syndrome. Yeah, which, which is something I think in, in our um, field of work is talked about a lot, or it's brought up a lot, where like, mm. oh, everybody around me is so good, and I feel like I'm, I'm not actually that good. Like as you said, like, you say my low-level knowledge is better than yours, but then again, I basically dropped out of my master's. And I feel like I, I failed that as well. So well so you did a master's though, right? I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't no, no, I did. I did my bachelor's. Oh, you did dropped out of a master's. You, okay, but uh, any master's you did is more <laughs> master's than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw you tweeting about this, and I, I was agreeing with you a lot because you said there's like a certain sense that we talk about it almost too much. Well, I, I, I feel like it's. A lot of it feels like people are using it as a positive trait, and I used to do the same. Like thinking, well, it, it's a sort of form of modesty, right? You're sort yeah. of saying, like, I don't feel good enough to be here, yeah. um, uh, you know. And 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 maybe in some ways, like other people seeing that will go, oh, well, if that person doesn't feel like they deserve to be here, then then I, you know, my feelings are maybe yeah. fake as well. Maybe it's this imposter yeah. syndrome thing. Um, but the thing that got me thinking is that if you have that mindset. And you encounter someone who, you know, maybe whether they're new or their skills are just in another area, but yeah. they're struggling with a particular thing. I worry that if, if you kind of really dig into that mindset that you don't belong, when you see someone who you could subjectively sort of say they know less than I do, then yeah. ergo they deserve even less to be here. Yes. You know, and that but that I mindset you can that. put yourself on a spot where you actually will end up not being encouraging for someone who is just learning. Yeah, because the, the the bad part is it comes with, and I don't deserve to be here. Yeah. There was a, a thread that went around on Twitter like a few months ago now, I think, but it was um, people saying, hi, I have this high position of authority or you know this, yeah. this job, and I can't do something that, that might be relatively basic to, to some. Uh, and I, I actually, I thought that thread had all of the benefits <coughs> uh, of like, so you know, other people could say, oh, well, you know, uh, maybe I should stop worrying about what I know because yeah. Uh, but it didn't have that, and I don't deserve to be I here. That, that's of, the yeah. bit. It's not. It shouldn't be up to you to decide if you deserve to be at your workplace or not. That's what the interview process is for. That's what right. your colleagues right, are right. for. And I'm very grateful that I have colleagues who keep encouraging me and all their other colleagues that everybody is here with a good reason and has the right skill level. And, Absolutely. Um, since I keep learning from basically all my colleagues, everything is fine. I think if, if we just stop deducing ourselves that we don't deserve to be somewhere, we'll be in a better place mentally already. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think, if yeah, especially if, if you genuinely don't think you belong, uh, there's definitely an encouragement to kind of close yourself in, to not yeah. be found out, you know, and, and, <laughs> and not talk openly. But I, on that Twitter thread, what, what I said was like, you know, I, go, I use MDN to look up APIs I designed. Oh, you are know? you one of the service worker designers? I, want, I don't know if you know. <laughs> But and someone replied to me and went, uh, does that actually more mean that your APIs are badly designed? And I'm like, no. no. It means I have the memory of a human being. You know, <laughs> there's like there's always so much I can remember. And especially if I know I can look it up. I'm like, yeah, that's do I because I, I, I have this worry that if I I have a finite amount of space in my yeah. brain, right? And if I push too much stuff in, something else will fall out. So like if I if I learn um, how to do pointers in C, then that might push out how to breathe or something. Many people have died from just forgetting to breathe <laughs> in the past. C has killed many people. <laughs> <laughs> Learning C has, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's destroyed many lives. But like, you know, I, I, if, I, if I can look it up easily, then well, I don't know. And I think that that's it. actually a really good trait. It's something that I always thought about as a kid, really, like you try to, to minimize the amount that you actually have to keep in your head and mm. delegate the things out to things you can either look up or you can deduce, which is very mathematical, actually, where you, like, you just remember the axioms, and from there you can go anywhere you want in terms of knowledge. If you really need to learn something by heart, it will happen automatically because you keep have to use it over yeah. and over anyway. Through real usage, not just kind of like Yeah, because I keep using Flexbox. I know now I now know all the Flexbox properties. Right. I didn't sit down and memorize them. Hang on. Justify is the horizontal one if it's a row. And, <laughs> and align items is the vertical? Here, here's how I remember it. You know how in in like Word or any kind of text processing you have the justify buttons, left justified, right justified? Yes. So that basically makes text that flows adjust to the right or to the left. And Flexbox that's has, no, has wait, flows. And you can that's amazing. 
Right, OK. So that so justify is the horizontal one. If by, you're if, in if a row. It's, a row. In, it's it, it moves the elements in inline direction. That's amazing. And the align is for the actual no, block. You don't need to film anymore. Like, that, that is that's the one, you know, you, that's, do you know what? You can stay. <laughs> I made it. Based, based on that. That's 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 it. <laughs> that is that is a piece of knowledge I have failed to grasp in my entire <laughs> career, and I will remember it now because of that. Because of the word buttons. Because, yeah. When I learned English, I often heard this phrase "A for effort," but I also often heard people spelling their names with like the NATO radio alphabet. They say S for Sierra, N for November. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, A for effort. 